Hi, I'm Jennifer Jansen with Cannabis History Magazine and we're here at the Hudson's Bay Archives and we're going to learn a little bit about what they've got for teachers this year. Yes, I'm Maureen Delenick and I'm the manager of the Hudson's Bay Company Archives. We are a division of the Archives of Manitoba and we're here at the um, SAG conference to sort of um, publicize the resources of the Hudson's Bay Company Archives and we have here a, 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 a display that shows some of the range of resources we have available at the Archives. How much material does the Archives have? Well, the Archives has over 7,000 linear feet of records documenting the company's activities over the course of its history and it was established in 1670 by the Royal Charter. And so we have a phenomenal amount of material which includes um, historical records, maps, photographs, documentary art and film records. And so there's a tremendous amount of resources that would be of interest to um, social studies teachers. A uh, few teachers realize that we actually have the original Selkirk deed that uh, established the Red River Settlement and um, we have many other documents that relate to the founding of our province. Um, so if teachers would bring their students to the archives, what would they be able to see? Well, um, if they were to prearrange a tour with one of our staff, we would um, organize a tour where they could see a range of records relating to um, the early Red River Settlement, um, um, relating to the posts that were um, operated by the Hudson's Bay Company in and around Manitoba and beyond. Uh, and uh, perhaps some historical maps for trade routes and various things that might relate to the things that they're studying in their curriculum. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, and we look forward to uh, visiting you again. Okay. Thank you.